All right, liquid ammonia with a boiling point of negative 33 degrees can be used as a refrigerant and heat transfer fluid. How much energy is needed to heat 25 grams of liquid ammonia from negative 65 degrees Celsius to negative 120? And since it is going above that boiling point, it is going to vaporize. So we have, and I'm going to draw it out as we increase the temperature. We're going to start down here at negative 65. We'll end up here at negative 12. But at negative 33.4, it's going to go through a phase change. So we have three different Q's that we're going to calculate to get together. All right, so the Q down here at the bottom, that's when it is still a liquid. And to figure out what's going on with that Q, we need to hit, use the specific heat when it's a liquid. And we got grams and Kelvin, so we know we're going to use the mass of 25 grams. And then the temperature change is going to go from um, negative 65 to negative 33.5. All right, when it's boiling or going through fusion, we're going to have our heat, or no, I'm sorry, it's not fusion. We're going from liquid to gas, so this is vaporization. So we are going to use our heat of vaporization, 23.5 kilojoules per mole, and we still need the amount, but you notice how this is moles? We're going to need to convert our 25 grams into moles using the molecular weights. And the last one, I should put it up here, but I'm out of space, so I'm going to move it down. Although, wait a second, I think... Well, I thought I was able to move on this thing, but... Alright. As a gas up here, we're going to use the specific heat, specific heat of a gas. And 25 grams again, and this temperature is going to go from, uh, uh, it's going to end at negative 12, it's going to start at negative 33.4. Alright, and we are going to calculate these three Q's and add them together. So, my first Q, and I'll just do top down because it's on the paper that way. So, 23.5 times 25 divided by 17 gives us 34.6 kilojoules. We're going to add to that the result we get from 4.7 times 25 times 65 minus 33.4. Close all those parentheses. And now we're going to add to that. Oh, I did some. Oh, I know what I did. Um, that's going to be joules. This is kilojoules, so that's not a good thing to add up. So let's. Um, uh, I know what we'll do. 23.5 times 25 divided by 17. There's that 34. 34. Now the 4.7 times 25 times, in parentheses, 65 minus 33.4, close those parentheses, um, and we're going to divide that by a thousand to put it into kilojoules, and then add that to the 34. That gives us 38, and now we need to do this bottom one. So, 2.2 times 25 times, in parentheses, 34.4 minus 12. Divide this by 1,000 and add that to the 38. And we get 39.4, but we really only have two significant figures because the significant, the uh, um, specific heats. So we're going to say that is 39 kilojoules.